right, welcome back to Old Man Tech. Today, by the way, it is, uh, I just installed this, a, a fresh install, so it's doing all its, uh, you know, all its initial stuff. But um, today we're going to install uh, Salts. Salts is stream all the sources. It's uh, one of my favorite add-ons. Uh, it's um, it's really good to uh, replace Genesis, so you can uh, set up your libraries, um, so you can see all your um you know, TV shows, your newest episodes up on the, the main screen. I do have a video on my channel showing uh, a more in-depth way to, to set up those libraries, but, uh, and in that I use salts. So this is the uh, the add-on salts. Now, I install this a little bit different a lot of times, or most of the time when you install an add-on, of course, you go to System, you go to File Manager, and you add the source, which is basically just a pointer uh, pointing to the URL where the zip file is located. You don't have to do this. I had problems with that. I had problems um, doing it that way. So I went ahead and just downloaded the zip file. You know, that same, uh, you know, you put that same URL in, you can download the zip file. And I did that, direct, downloaded it directly to the computer and uh, ran it that way. Worked a lot better. So let's show you how you would do that. Let's uh, let's get out of here. We're going to minimize this set and go to my internet. There you go. There's the internet there. We're going to go to this this URL here is the um, the link. I'll put the link down in the description. You should be able to click it. If not, you can right click it, or you can right click, you know, copy, and then paste it in a browser, and you will get this. When you hit enter, you will get this little pop up here saying, uh, "Yeah, you want to save this? Yes, I want to save this. This is the um, for salts." I'm going to save it. Make sure there you go. It is saved. It's in my downloads folder. Let's go make sure. And there it is. That's the one that says repository .tk -norris .beta. Uh, dash 1.0.5 so we know it is there let's go ahead and minimize that we'll close that out and go there all right so now back here like I said instead of going to system and going whoop, I'm sorry instead of going to system and file manager to add the source we can go straight to system go to add-ons and yes we're going to install from a zip file but this time it is located on our on our computer wherever we saved it I did mine in my downloads folder. You can save it wherever you want if you have an external hard drive or whatever. Um, obviously, it will not be one of these red ones. These red ones are for, um, you know, when we add the source, that's a, like a network or an internet uh, location. So let's go to where I saved mine, the C drive. Uh, I did it under users. My name is there. And downloads. And you can see there it is right there. Click that and let it install. It takes just a couple seconds. All right, I guess that worked, right? All right, now we're going to install from repository. I'm going to click there. We're going to go down to the TK Norris beta testing repository. That's the one we just installed. Click that. And we're going to add a video add-on. Click that. And here's, well, these. this is what was uh, in that. We're going to install the stream all sources. There it is, salts. Click that. And install. Should take just a couple seconds here. And there is a couple. Oh, this also uses the Tract um, Tract TV um, website to help keep track of your watched videos. I say keep track for, so you can keep track of your watched videos and or movies and uh, that kind of thing. Um, it will pop up the first time you log in or go into stream all the sources. It will come up with a QR code you can scan. Go to their website, create a uh, an account completely free create the account and then when you uh, you know go into salt you can put that username and password in one time and it'll save all the information for you um, I haven't found any problems with it got no extra emails or anything like that but uh, anyway so there it is it is installed let's go to our video add-ons there we go so there it is let's change this so we can better see it let's change it to uh, I like thumbnail for this there we go and we'll go into salt and like I said oh in the first time yeah there it is see that way you can either go to this uh, website here or you can just scan that it'll take you to the same spot you can create an account and then you will have to authorize it but for right now I think it, this will last 24 hours if I just hit uh, this right here so I'm gonna do that just to bypass this there we go we bypass it yep it says you will be reminded in 24 hours and now the first time going in here we want to go to settings there are a couple settings that they recommend uh, that we set and we're gonna do that right now the uh, auto configure salts click that and all these are checked. If there's anything you want to uncheck, you can go through it and play around with this. Found them all to be pretty good, so we'll go ahead and hit continue. You should see down here it is working, and it should say when it's complete. There you go. Auto configure is complete. The other setting is under add-on settings. Up at the top, there's four little, there's a track TV thing too. You can add your account to it. Anyway, there's four uh, menu items here. 
uh, scroll over one and you'll see source management. This one right here we want to change from dialog to directory. I guess it's the best way to uh, for selecting the sources. Um, that's what they recommend. That's what I'm going to do. Directory and we're going to say OK. Working and I think it'll say when it's complete. Will it? Maybe it won't. So all right. So let's go back out of here back to our our main thing here. So we got movies and TV shows. Let's grab a movie real quick just to make sure this thing does work. Um, let's do trending movies just so I can uh, I can grab something real fast. And let's get uh, let's get Revenant. Now where I am located right now, um, the internet is not really that great. Um, there's also a lot of firewalls in place, um, so not all the sources work. I do know which ones do, and I'll try to go to those. But um, yeah, I can't use all the different sources now. At home, I have no problem whatsoever. They all seem to work pretty fast. Um, you know, these are pretty fast, but like I said, I can't use them here. Let me find the one I can use that I know does work here. Um, there, but let's try to get a lower quality just so it's faster. These are all high quality and really good uh, either, um, you know, 780 or 1080p, whichever they are. There we go. This one should work. Uh, it still says hi, though. Wow. Um, this is great. Wow, there's a lot of sources in it. That's fine. Let's just go ahead and grab the first one that that way we can just get this over with for you. Uh, this one. I know this one should work. That dot ag should work with no problems. It may take a couple seconds. Oh, look okay, at pretty quick. Hopefully. Thought I saw it. Come on. Wasn't it working? Hmm. All right, let's try another one. Looked like it was coming up. Usually when it shows the uh, little, there you go, like that, it should start working. Hmm. All right, let me try another one real fast. Let's try this one. Oh, yeah, the Movie Hut one works. That's probably the one I should have picked the first time. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Try this one. Like I said, this is just because where I'm located. I mean, this at home, I, I never have a problem. Seems to be really, uh, really quick, and uh, the sources all seem to work. It, it never fails, though, when, you, when you're trying to show something. That's when it stops working. I'm a uh, an IT guy. I work on there. We go. I work in computers all day, and yeah, when I try to teach somebody something, that's that's when it doesn't work. So anyway, so we see that does work. Um, let's get up out of here, and just to show that the um, that the libraries work, let's go ahead and set up a couple shows real quick and put in the library really really fast. Let's go to trending. Um, we're gonna do some that are only a couple episodes or at least a season or two. That way. Um, this demonstration go really fast. Let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, we're going to add the library. Now, like I said, there is a bigger or a better video on my channel, more in depth. If you want to check it out, show you how to set up the library. We're going to do it again. I'm just going to run through this really, really fast. All right, it added that and that. There you go. Boom. Now let's go here and go here. We're going to go to go back up, up, up to files, add videos, browse. Oh man, home directory, user data, add on data, salts, TV shows, say OK, OK, TV shows, click that, we're going to change this to TV shows, say OK. If you want to refresh, now this is the part that would take long. I did this video a few minutes ago and I picked X-Files and it's got 10 seasons, so it took a long time, so I forgot to redo the video. So there you go, Supergirl only had, I think, is this the first season or maybe the second season? Um, was that it? All right, that was quick. All right, so now... Go back here. If yeah, if you hover over now, TV shows us here, and you can see all the latest episodes up here. And you know, next week when a new episode comes out, um, it will show the newest episode here, which is really nice. It's really nice to to set up. I thought I did two different shows. Oh well, there's Supergirl. Um, but like I said, if you you can have you know. 10 different ones here. It'll definitely show the latest episodes up here. So really, really nice stuff. 
Um, but anyway, that's uh, that's salts. Stream all the sources. Great, uh, great add-on. Uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, but anyway, any uh, any other add-ons you guys would like for me to uh, to try? Uh, just let me know. Put it down in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.